Okay, bear with me just a little bit. I've had two very, very strong margaritas, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bait and charge this guy. Oh, oh, ah. You know, it's Monday night right now. It's a little bit dark out. I'm just decided to play a little bit of Battlefield 1 just because I wanted to play a little bit more before the beta ended. Because the beta is probably going to end soon. Ooh, can I get, oh, I almost killed that guy. But I was just wanted to kind of have another one of those conversation style videos, I guess. Kind of like the, the middle school thing, but like not, I suppose. Oh, hey, more guys. I gotta admit, compared to the sniper rifle, this gun is really just not that great. How in the dick did I die from him? Sniper rifles in this battlefield seem to be like really powerful. I don't know if it's because they're easier to use or because every other weapon seems to do so much, like so much less damage or whatever it might be. But I mean, sniping is a lot of fun, but I decided to give out this little bit of a SMG a try. Kind of surprising that they have so many automatic weapons. Oh, oh dear. Like I always remembered World War One being a very bolt action style game. And it's kind of strange seeing so many like machine guns because I always thought machine guns were like standard emplacements that you would place between the trenches not really like things people carried around I don't know I could be wrong but that's how I remember my World War One history. So I was kind of thinking about something. Now, I know back in my high school, uh, you know, a couple of years back when I was still in high school, that's a tank. I'm going to the fuck out of here. Goodbye, kids. Um, They had like dress codes, you know? I mean, obviously every school has kind of a dress code. You know, you can only wear this stuff versus this other stuff. And that's just the way it kind of worked, you know? You know, there was a lot of dress code in my school. Mainly the ones that everyone knew about was like, okay, if you're a guy, you can't have like any chains attached to your, your pants or anything like that. and Or you can't have like gang um, memorabilia or shit like that, you know, gang regalia. And for the women, it was like, you know, you can't have your pants shorter than your fingertips or something on those lines. And you can't have like strapless like or not strapless but like really ripped jeans like like totally ripped super ripped like to the point of, of it's barely even a fucking like pants anymore it's just ripped yeah you know that was the different kind yeah Oh, that was a different kind of dress code back when I was in high school, you know, I and mean, we was kind of abided by, you know, not very often people get dress code problems. And if they did, they just like gave them some PE shirt and then, you know, they just don't really give a shit about it because it wasn't very hard to follow. It was just like, don't wear your underwear and don't wear chains and, and don't be pulling up blood and crip signs. You know, it wasn't that difficult to deal with. But apparently my high school now has this new principal and this new principal is this one lady and this one lady is absolutely just like cracking down on dress code but it's kind of weird because she's cracking down on dress code specifically for the girls and i don't understand why yeah she's pulling up apparently all these different rules for the whole dress code thing for my high school like they're doing a whole bunch of like oh you know like yoga pants are now banned and then like you can't like have bra straps showing or shit like that you know i might be completely on point with it but that's the stuff that i remember being told is and it's just very strange having her crack down on like dress code especially nowadays and such commonly used things like yoga pants like you can't wear yoga pants everyone fucking wears yoga pants if you're not wearing yoga pants you're wearing like leggings or some shit and everyone wears leggings especially in high school School right now like everybody wears that stuff and i'm just thinking here like okay so you can't have bra straps showing you know you can't you can't wear yoga pants and things like that you can't do all this stuff the reason behind it is because it's considered too distracting it's either too distracting for the guys or it's too distracting for the the, the teacher I, I don't i don't know who because i don't i mean i mean you know me you know me you know how much of a connoisseur i am of the of the fine ass but at the same time like who the fuck like, what guy is gonna be like, yeah, you know, man, I couldn't, I couldn't do well on this test, man. I had a hard time because the girl in front of me just had straight up booty shorts on and I just, I just couldn't do well. I just, I just couldn't do well, man. I was distracted. Dude, you, you gotta ban that shit. Who, what guy would, would even say that? Even if you're, even if you like, it's like, you got some really good looking girl to hang out in front of you. Like, no one, no one does that. No one does that. I don't understand. I have never heard a single person go like, oh yeah, no, this was too distracting. Oh, these yoga pants were just too much for me. I couldn't, I couldn't study. I couldn't take my tests well. God damn it, this guy with a shotgun keeps stopping my bayonet charges. 
Like, I don't know, is this everywhere? Is this just, like, my specific high school? Is this every high school? Like, like for, for a second, I think it's just my high school because the new principal is kind of, like, a bitch. But I don't know if it's, is every high school, like, cracking down on dress code, you know, or, or cracking down on this, on these damn, these damn heathens with their, with their yoga pants and their, and their leggings and their short, short, like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I cannot think of a single guy that would ever go to like the principal and be like, yo, this is out of hand, yo. Dude, we can't have this. We cannot have this shit. This is a problem. How how dare how dare you? How dare you let, let these let these people run free like what what? Do you know how upset I would be if this was what happened when I was in high school? Do you understand all of the good things that came out of high school, all of the happiness that came out of high school came from this thing? What he's gonna take it away like that? No, this time you're gonna you're not even gonna look like you're not even gonna carry you're just gonna be like, nope, can't have it, can't can't do it, cannot do it. This is this is too much of an issue. The guys are being distracted. I'm sorry, I'm triggered. I am I am as triggered as this principal. I I cannot I cannot handle this. Next thing you know, in my high school, guys won't be allowed to wear shorts because it shows off too much leg. Oh shit, he's showing the ankle. Better get the fucking fashion police. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. It's just it's just so silly, man. I don't understand it. I just don't get it, man. I know it's probably dumb, but it's just like I want to talk about because I hear about this thing so much more often now, and it's just uh, it's just strange to me. I I don't, I don't get. Like, I feel like I feel like there's got to be some people, like principals, faculty, parents, if anyone, that can look at this and be like, "That's dumb. That's really dumb. Why are you doing this?" It's like someone's gotta be like that. Come on, it's gotta be one person. Anyway, that's all I got for you. That's all I want to talk about. That's literally all I wanted to discuss. I, I literally have nothing else I want to say right now. I just want to bring that up and have a discussion about that. So yeah, anyway, um, my name's Brick York today. I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, I hope your high school isn't like this because, because blessed be unto the yoga pants. All right, bye-bye.